Yeah. All right, let's turn this down. I'm watching the game. You know that if you download the, let me see, what is it called? The Yahoo Sports mobile app. <clears throat> they have it available on iOS and on the iPad and the iPhone. If you download the Yahoo Sports mobile app, you can watch Monday night games. Can you believe that? Monday night games. I'm watching that right now. So, uh, so yeah. Forget cable and forget all them subscriptions. And that's free. And then for Thursday, you can watch Thursday games on Amazon Prime. And you can watch the Thursday game. So that's it. So that's Mondays and Thursdays. And then, of course, Sunday is all on TV. Except for the ones that are outside your market. But, you know, I'm not stressing out about it. I don't even care about who, who's playing who. I just want to watch some football whenever I look that way. In any case, our life all day, Delta Tango mic. And I am mic'd up, and, I, and I've been playing around with this microphone that's uh, tied up into my beard. Because when I have the microphone down here, it's hard to hear. And then it scrubs against my beard, and then so it's extra sound. So hopefully this is a lot better sound. I'm just a little lazy. I don't want to break out the microphone, all this other stuff. And uh, because then that's extra work and then I got to clean up the desk and then keep on working. In any case, big news for today, uh, the beta release, the beta update for Sketchable is out. And uh, for those of us who are testers, we're getting a hang, getting, a, getting our first hands, first look, hands on to try it out and see what it does. It's really cool. There's a few good things coming to it. And uh, I'll include some screenshots and maybe some video if I can... If I can do the, um, I should, I should, I think I was able to put, uh, <clears throat> if I was able to put, come on now, I was able to put, um, OBS on this. Let me see, OBS. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh huh. So I will be able to record a screen, and uh, that's always a good thing. So I'll show you some of the goodies about Sketchable. The main things to pay attention to and, and know that it's there is the, um, it's a it has a microphone, so I think we'll be able to speak to some tools. I don't know. Uh, it has lots of tools available. Um, the magic wand. The layers are redone. You can resize them so that they're uh, they can take up less space, and you can name the layers. So that's amazing. That's really cool. I like that. So there's a few things that are um, the Sketchable is coming up with right now. And, uh, and we're still testing so through this testing you know it's a little buggy things are gonna crash so it's not gonna be a smooth um, process right now to see what all sketchable has got coming up however I'm gonna try to share as much as I can with you so that you know if you're not trying out sketchable on your Windows 10 machine then you need to get on that and then um, um, start on a logo I got a client I've known this guy for whew, 19 years and uh, he's been in the printing and marketing game for a long long time he's uh, working on a few other projects and so he brought me in for some illustration work so I won't be able to show you some of the stuff that I'm doing until it's actually released and the client is happy that's the process when it comes to paid work commission work and some of these projects are um, very um, detail oriented and certain things have to happen a certain way so in any case, things are good, and this is working out the way it needs to. And then also, uh, for today's video, you'll see a little bit of my um, behind. I got a phone up here that can see my desk and see what's happening, and uh, some screen recording. So there's um, the sketchable, the new sketchable stuff. I got to get on um, Fresco again to finish up another illustration in Fresco. And, uh, and I got a list. Oof, I got a list. Uh, so uh, my goal is to make sure that I can edit all this down tonight and, and, and upload today's Art Life All Day video. I was telling my wife that uh, this Art Life All Day videos, daily videos, I want to do it at least for, for 30 days, at least for one month. Now that I'm thinking about uh, Inktober, um, I think I want to do it all the way through the end of October. Not sure. Not, not quite... Um, clear on it yet but uh, that's another thing October starts tomorrow 
by the time you see this video, it'll be Inktober time. And Inktober is a time when uh, the uh, it's one month where artists are encouraged to participate by doing ink drawings. And originally, it's uh, the artist who started it off, Jake Parker. He is a big time uh, ink illustrator, and his um, idea is to to get other artists to try out their inking skills. And it's a challenge, right? So you challenge yourself to, um, it's moving, something's happening to you. And to challenge yourself into practicing, 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 because some of the things that, the, some of the questions that I hear, and I'm sure he's heard it many, many times is, how do you get your lines so clean? How do you get your drawings to look this way? How do you do this? How do you do that? And my answer is always the same, practice, put in the work, draw, do something with your art tools and uh and which brings up a whole nother point about people who spend money on art tools and then they don't use them and that includes me because i got every marker known right now and i hardly even use my markers i love them i love all of them um, but when you spend money on art tools then you need to put in the time into making um getting your practice getting your talent and skill level where you uh higher and higher and challenge yourself and so Inktober was one of those things where you kind of challenge other artists to go ahead and try their hand at it but some artists take it a little bit too hard and that's the natural thing when it comes to artists is that anxiety and uh, self-doubt and, and all that stuff imposter syndrome and then of course self-care and all that comes into play and then you at the end of the month when you do not finish the drawing you kind of feel a little bad because you did not finish, you feel embarrassed or I don't know, whatever feelings and emotions that will, will overcome somebody. And, uh, and so now it's taking on these other um, undertones about, well, are you using traditional media? Is it digital? Is it account? Are you using pencils and so on? And so because the word Inktober has the word ink in it, so obviously you want to, you, 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 you start thinking about the art tools that you're using and how um, it, it really is very narrow field when you're talking about ink and nothing to do with digital but we all are artists and we should try it out just to have fun just to enjoy it ourselves just to have something that that we're all doing together at one time and that's how I'm taking it where there's this big creative energy. Of course, artists are drawing every day. There's projects being uh, worked on every day. There's always somebody doing something. But October is that time of the year. And there's other themes like that across um, the year. But October is that one time where for 30 days, everybody has got their heads down and, and are drawing. And there's some themes that you can follow um, or choose your own. But there's this cr great creative energy rolling around the world right now. And I want to take advantage of that by participating and focusing on my art, doing the things that I want to do that are going to help me move my projects further. I don't want to take on uh, a um, uh, drawing prompts and then do what those drawing prompts do, uh, asking you so that I can do a drawing when I already have a ton of ideas and things that I want to work on. But that energy is out there, the energy is real, the creative energy and the power the artists are exercising every time they draw. And so now this is an opportunity where everyone across the world, because this has it's been years now since October has been around and it's really become very popular. And so I just gonna take advantage of it, do what I can, with what I got, focus on my digital. If I jump into some traditional, that's cool. I'm not going to stress out about it if and um, but I think that this art life all day episodes the more I do them and the more I keep on doing them every day it's helping me stay focused on my talents and my creativity and my projects yes I got cre uh, professional projects that I work on and that I have to do and it's part of my everyday life but there are things that happen in every artist's life when uh, responsibilities that an artist has to take on and fulfill and it has to do with family it has to do with your financials it has to do with society it has to do with whatever it is that you got going on in your life and so 
we feel that well it's my art so I I can draw that a different day I can do this thing at then a different day and so it's real easy to just push it down push it down and uh, and so the art life all day is keeping me honest telling you about what I'm doing what I'm working on how often I get to work on it and so then during my day I know that I need to sit down and draw I need to work on something I and and I don't just want to sit there and work on anything I want to work on the things that I've set out as goals for myself so that you can see my process for real projects that end up in the real world so I'm finding out that um, the more I do this the more honest is keeping me and I'm going to continue working on that as long as I can and that may mean to the end of October but don't quote me on it because we'll see I uh, do have a lot of things on the horizon that I'm working on and there may be times when I really just gonna have to focus and draw non-stop and um, and um, and then there could be days where I just don't have time because of family responsibilities to make it happen so I don't want to skip a day I don't want to have a day where I'm not drawing but I'm not going to stress out myself about it and that's the another key is that we need to keep this creativity going for our benefit not for the world not for the Instagram not for the, the, the likes and um, uh, comments and um, online internet fame you're doing it because you enjoy it because you're having fun because there's some part of yourself the, some passion that has to push through and uh, and as long as that's there and you have the time you have the means to do it then go ahead and do it all right art life all day DTM check out some of my work Delta Tango Mike I did um, include yesterday included the, um, me recording myself saying the Delta Tango Mike the artist king and so on I don't like it I don't like the audio of it I'm trying a different phone right now, so I, I do have the microphone right here in my beard, and uh, hopefully this sound is better, but I'm still not quite convinced, so ne this coming week on Friday, I plan to be at uh, Cinemaker, and uh, we got super duper professional grade gear, and that's when I'm going to do it again, do that um, welcome, uh, thank you to DTM and Artist King, Vector Maestro, and so on, so let's see how it goes. All right, y'all, talk to y'all later. Our life all day so here's some of the stuff that I was talking about when it came to sketchable so this is a beta version for the next update and let me move this where it belongs number one we have a microphone on the top left right under this the, um, the book right here on the left hand side we have a microphone what's it do it doesn't do anything right now it does you can see my uh, voice there it goes DTM Delta Tango mic and uh, but I don't know what to do with that so I'm gonna find out soon as I test this uh, app then of course we have the lasso tools there's the lasso tools right there uh-huh and look at that that's amazing that's amazing oh that's the magic one right there transform tool what the is this transform tool hmm so that's uh that that uh, I, I did not expect because there's a transform tool right here. That's a transform tool. So, all right, cool, cool. And then, of course, we have the magic wand. So, the magic wand, I think it's called a magic wand. What is it called? Magic eraser. Oh, not a magic wand. Magic eraser. Let's change that. Because I got it. I got the wrong name on that. And I need to draw it on the correct layer. So, oh, that's good. That's a good layer. So, this is called. And let's go to the layer where it is and see if and uh, I'm gonna come back to the right in a minute to the stuff on the right but this is called the magic eraser okay let's do it right so this is all on sketchable right now so there it is and then when you go to the right hand side is improved layers panel with resize and uh, um, and then window options and so we're looking we open up our layers you saw them a second ago and so we can resize them look boom bigger and smaller right then there are some options right here so 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 there's some window options to add duplicate merge up merge down which is really cool that's some good options right there 
um, um, duplicate, no problem. And you already had that down in the bottom of that layer. So it's kind of cool that it pops up so that when you click on a layer, um, um, you do have some of these options. Let me get that. How did it? Oh, uh, um, oh, it's right here. That's right. There's the three dots. Cool. Then you can click on the right side of the window and start and naming your layers. So that is awesome. You can name your layers. Let me make this smaller. So when I click there, there it is. Look at that. I can name that layer. <sighs> Ooh, the small version of um of the windows does not have that visibility option to the to the left of the layer just like the ones right here so there it is that's the visibility right mm -hmm, cool and uh so that all is different and i do like the look of course um you can still just click and uh, let's see if i can click like this and then I can move the layers around. So that's still awesome. And then the last thing I've seen that's new, and this is just me messing around. I haven't even taken the time to look through, is you can um, expand a color palette. It's right there. And so, so that as you're creating, as you're using more and more colors, they start adding up over here. So swatch, so it's a swatches window. And they had a little plus second ago. Where is it at? Um, it's uh, the plus is gone. Oh, there it goes. That's the plus it's right there. I couldn't see it earlier. So as long as you keep clicking on the plus, you keep getting more and more color. So that's really cool. Or every time you choose a color, and you oh, it's, it's, uh, it's saving. So it's a little glitchy still. So there it goes. So I chose a color and go green. And I have to add it in. There it goes. That is great. So what happened if I hold it down? There it is. Oh, delete. <sighs> That is good because then sometimes you could mistakenly click on something. That is good. I really like this. I'm glad um, Sketchable and the Silicon Benders team is getting down into the settings. It's a very stable app. It works really great. I have not had any uh, major problems, and uh, but I've been using the app for three years. So, uh, so this is good. I met the, those guys in 2016. And they've been great, great guys. Okay, cool. So if you don't have Sketchable, I suggest you go ahead and download. It's available on the Microsoft Store. You will not have the version that I have because um, you're not me. But I guarantee you that you will be able to easily find your way around the app and draw and do the things that you like to do when it comes to simple drawing with simple tools and and now it's starting to get really deep when it comes to um there it is when it comes to uh lines <laughs> when it comes to uh getting started in your digital art career there it is okay cool 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 Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna figure out what the microphone does. Here's the settings. I, I, I use my, I do my drawing with the stylus, not with the finger. And uh, all these other settings, I never really deal with them or touch them. The dark or light theme, that's kind of cool. I keep it dark. And uh, and that's that. I'll go out to the book. There's the book and a sketchbook and I can click on to get to the next page. And then there's the book right there. And then this is the book that it comes with. The sketchable automatically comes with there it is and i can find out what size of book is this it's um 1920 by 1080 yeah that's cool but i don't that's too small in any case this is great i never paid attention to these layers yeah that's all in one layer of course and the artist is this guy that's the original artist and when the latest style uh, when this version of Sketchable came out, not this, uh, not the necessarily the um, this version, but the style, because it was another Sketchable before that, that I never got to see or try because it was for Windows 8. Okay, this is DTM, Delta Tango Mic. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I was 
backing up the video that I just did a second ago. And let me see, we catching my audio. Yes, we are. And so I was um, backing it up into this the, the my Dropbox so I can add it to tonight's video when I got a message from Sketchable and they sent me a document that tells me what speech and Sketchable does. And so apparently you can say the words tools the different tools mention the tool and uh and then sketchables uh the app will <laughs> will react to it so right now i have the eraser on let me turn on the microphone pen tool and you saw that the pen tool came up of course that's the last pen tool i was using eraser look at that green green color oh hold on pen tool pen tool so i mean i may need to say have some words in between or, or at least use the pen let me see use the tool there it is pen tool there it is and then um oh and there's the green because i did say green earlier <gasps> black ink or black color look at that dang sketchable miles and ryan harris are awesome whoa i like that little that look oh, okay okay hold on so this is uh let me put this where it goes there it goes uh, this that goes right there and it goes like this there it is right wow so let's get the red and you know what i actually have that red in my nope because I, I shut it down a couple times um wow so here is the what do you call that voice wave audio wave wow that is crazy i like it sketchable you guys are crazy man whoa there it is screenshot color honeydew <laughs> oh oh so it, it translated as a uh, uh, uh color red red color look at that and then the red color appeared right there it did that by itself okay that was it i just wanted to show you that i figured out with the microphone but i didn't figure it out um the silicon bender sent me the document to show me what what the microphone did that's awesome art right, life all day
Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Delta Tango Mike, that is DTM, and find me anywhere on the internet under Delta Tango Mike. That's my website, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere you want to look for me, there I am, Delta Tango Mike. And if you're interested in some more tutorials and demos on Adobe Illustrator and Sketchable and Digital Drawing, check out Vector Maestros on YouTube. We are also Vector Maestros on Instagram and Twitter. Plus, don't forget the art life all day, art business, and discussions on how artists and entrepreneurs make their business work when it comes to creativity. Check out Art is King on YouTube or Artist King underscore ATL on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Talk to you later.